Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Marlon, back at it again. I'm making another YouTube video. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you guys can make better detailing content for your Instagram pages. We're gonna be going over paid versus organic. Which is better? What should you be doing and what should you not be doing? So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Now, let's go ahead and start off with what most people do, AKA what not to do. I'm gonna go ahead and display two images on the screen for you. And these are just advertisements that I happen to stumble across naturally on Instagram. I thought they'd be a good example for this video. Now I want you to take a moment, look at this and tell me what's wrong here with this. I'll go ahead and give you the answer. Nobody's going to fucking read all of this. It's way too many words on the screen. There's too much going on. Numbers here, words there. People's attention span are that of a goldfish at this point. This, this is an outdated way of marketing. It's a still image. It's not interesting to look at. And that's recipe for people tapping right past it instantly. That's why I personally don't think that marketing paid marketing on Instagram is that effective, at least for detailing. I think it can work, but I think there's much better ways to do it. So what's the alternative? The alternative is going to be creating organic, interesting detailing content. Now, for those of you that are wondering, what is the difference between organic versus paid marketing? Well, it's very simple. Paid marketing, you have to pay to do it. You have to pay to put it in front of somebody. You have to pay to boost that post, right? Organic is just gonna be any video that you create, upload to Instagram for free. That's how you gain followers naturally. That's how you gain them organically, hence the name. So, what's an example of interesting organic content? Let me go ahead and throw a couple videos on the screen for you so you can go ahead and see and look at that for yourself. I make over $100 an hour as a mobile detailer, and if this video popped up on your feed, it's probably because you wish you could charge more and make more money per detail. And this exact system that I've used has made me over $40,000 in the last two months. Always wheels first, making sure to hit the wheelbarrows, the wheel wells, the faces of the wheels, and even those red calipers because they collect brake dust. Then we move on to prepping the vehicle for paint correction. That includes a detailed foam bath to remove all the dirt. Now. What makes these videos so interesting? Why are they getting liked so much? Why are these people getting so many followers and why are you not? Here's the recipe. You're gonna have your hook, you're gonna have your build, your build, your build, your rising action, and then you're gonna have that climax at the end, pause. That is gonna be your simple recipe. Now I know there's, there's a little bit more that can go into it, there's, you know, Tons of tutorials on TikToks, how to make interesting TikToks, how to make interesting short form content. I'm just simplifying it for you guys, right? These videos, they have something that hooks you in in the beginning, gets your interest building. And then as the video progresses, your interest is building and building and building and building. And then at the end, you have that rush of dopamine. You have that satisfying end to the video. That's why you like it. And that's why you follow those people. So how can we replicate that? We're just gonna copy the fucking videos. Guys, these guys are not the gatekeepers of detailing content. You don't have to, like, it's okay to copy this stuff. Like, they are not the first ones to create these videos. Anybody can do this stuff. Nobody's telling you you can't do the exact same thing. So, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. I'm actually gonna show you guys a quick little tutorial that I made on how you guys can make simple detailing videos in CapCut to upload to your Instagram page. So let's go ahead and hop right into that little mini tutorial. Alrighty, so if you pay attention, I'm here in CapCut. Now I do have the pro version, but you absolutely do not need the pro version. You can do it literally with the free version. You do not need it. Anyways, so all you're gonna do is hit create a new project. You're gonna select any of the videos that you wanna add. So I'm gonna select like five of these. These are just old recycled videos. I've already posted this stuff before. Um, but it, let's just use it for the sake of the tutorial. All right, so you're gonna want your hook, right? Like I said, my hook, quote unquote, is just gonna be me showing this dirty ass car that was really, really stained and, and filthy. Honestly, that's probably not good enough to be a hook, to be, you know, like super viral, like just showing a dirty car. 
may not be enough. But, I mean, you could do something a little more. You could add a voice or be like, this was the dirtiest car I've ever... Like, it, I know it may be a little cringe, but come on, guys. You got to play the game a little. You got to make the video a little interesting. Um, but, yeah, so now you just see me kind of splitting up the videos, kind of just shortening them. You don't want each clip to be too long. Like I said, no attention span nowadays people have. So the shorter these little clips are, the better. And then I'm just going to kind of like compile them together, reorder them, add the most satisfying looking parts in, and then just, you know, combine them all together. And let's take a look at the final result. Okay, start. Now, like I said, this is probably not a video that would go viral. Actually, I know this video would not go viral. It's not interesting enough. All I wanted to do was show you guys kind of like the fundamentals, kind of show you just how simple it is. I think you guys get it. So now taking the new knowledge that you guys have learned, it's up to you to go out and find inspiration for these videos. Find inspiration for hooks. See how people hold your attention see the tricks that they use there's plenty of them out there for you guys i'm sure you can identify them once you kind of get a good idea once you start intaking all that detailing content you'll start creating your own ideas naturally and creating these videos will be like the back of your hand you'll know how to do it and you'll be able to do it super super quickly so i hope that guys i hope that that helped you guys um let me know if you have any more questions about how to create these videos uh, I'd be more than happy to help you out. You can also go to my Instagram, check it out, follow me. There's plenty of videos that I've made already. If you're wondering why I haven't uploaded a video in a while on Instagram or on YouTube, guys, I haven't just been sitting, sitting around twiddling my thumbs for the past two months. I actually got into a really, really bad car crash, fractured my pelvis, completely fucking broke my pinky. I was in bad shape in the hospital, couldn't work for months. So I apologize about that. I apologize that I've been inactive, but I'm back now. I'm better than ever, and I'm ready to get back into it. So I really appreciate it. If you guys have watched to the end, to this point, thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.